other tool out there promises to help you build apps, but you get stuck in signups, fees, backend setups, and APIs. Claude Code is different to all of them, and its new update has changed everything that you know about Vibe coding. But here's the problem. Most people are using Claude Code completely wrong. They prompt it once, they get a genetic result, and then what do they do? they just stop. That's exactly why nothing they build ever feels real. And guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually use Claude Code the way professionals do. And guys, look at this task manager app. It's clean, it's production ready, and I didn't write a single line of code. We are building this from scratch, and I'll show you four advanced Claude Code features that most people out there don't even know exist. And guys, the same ones that turn OK apps into polished products. And if you are brand new to Claude Code or you've tried it but you feel a bit overwhelmed, then guys, this video will completely change how you use it. And guys, just a quick heads up before we get started, I've actually put all of the Claude Code workflows, Claude MD templates, and step-by-step -step guides inside our free school community. And guys, if you want to follow along, then just copy the exact prompts that I'm going to be using or you can even build alongside others. And the link is in the description below, guys. Go and check it out. There's already over 8,000 thousand boulders already inside. So guys, again, go and check it out. I guarantee you, you are going to love it. But right now, let's jump over to the PC. So guys, we are now over onto the PC and we are going to be using Claude Code in VS Code, okay? So that's basically because it allows you to access the plan mode. And what you have to do is you basically just have to install the extension and then you are ready to go. So before we do anything, before we build anything, we need to set up the most important file that nobody talks about. And that is the Claude.md file. So the purpose of the file is basically to give Claude a set of rules that it's going to follow every single time you want to build something. So what you can do is you can think of it like this. Without the MD file, Claude is basically guessing what you want. But if it has it or with it, Claude then knows exactly how you want things done. And that is obviously super important and that's what we want, okay? So let's create this file right now. So you can type slash I-N-I-T and Claude will then create a starter file. So here, once the starter is generated, I'm going to add in my own rules that I want Claude to follow. So first, I'll actually tell it to use the best coding practices and to prioritize security at all times. And then the second thing, I actually tell it to be efficient with its code. So you can actually copy this exact Claude.md file from the description below, which is what I spoke about earlier, and that is the free school community, guys. Or what you can do is you can customize it for your own needs by using Claude AI, okay? So if you want to go down that route, you just open Claude AI and you tell it exactly the type of app that you want to build and it will create a suitable MD file accordingly, okay? So this is hands down the most underrated feature of Claude code. It's the one that most people skip completely and I honestly can't understand why it's super important. So guys, now that we have that out of the way, Let's start building a task manager app, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter planning mode. So planning mode is where Claude thinks through the entire project before writing any line of code. This is super crucial because what it does is it prevents any mistakes and it gives you a clear roadmap towards creating what you want. So now I'm gonna give Claude a prompt. So I want a task manager app with three features. The ability to add tasks, mark them as completed, and delete them. So let me send that prompt right about now. Okay, so there we go guys, Claude is now creating an implementation plan. So it's thinking through the entire structure, the files it needs to create and how everything will work together. So this is one of the coolest parts about Claude Code because it doesn't just start coding randomly, it actually plans everything out first. And honestly guys, I really like that. Okay guys, there we can see the plan looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna switch to accept edits mode. So I'll tell Claude to go ahead and implement the plan. And there we go guys. And yeah, and there, just like that, Claude is now building our entire app. It's creating the files, it's writing the code, and it's setting everything up for us. So in just a few minutes, we actually have a fully functioning task manager app. You can add in your tasks, you can check them off, and you can delete them. And this, guys, this what you are seeing here, this is the power of Claude code. So what used to take hours or even days can now actually be done in just a couple of minutes. So now guys, it is time. Like you know on our videos, we always give a few extra tips. So here is where things get super interesting, okay? Because what we are going to do is we're actually going to be taking our app from OK 
to a stunning level. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take this to the very next level. So these are my personal three pro tips that will actually help us do that, okay? So tip number one, that is going to be running multiple agents in parallel, okay? So again, guys, this is something that most people probably don't know about. You can actually run multiple Claude Code instances at the same time working on different parts of your project, which means it's going to save you a lot of time. So just type in forward slash agent and open a new terminal and in each one, I'll actually start a Claude Code session. So now I can assign different tasks to each agent. One agent is working on the front end, another is working on the back end, and another is writing tests and so on and so forth. And this is how you build apps insanely fast to get ahead of all your competition. Instead of waiting for one task to finish before starting the next, you can actually have multiple agents working in parallel, which means you are going to save so much time. So guys, it's important to keep in mind that using multiple agents will only be functional if you are setting up independent tasks for each one. Otherwise, you can't really build any functionality, okay? So now guys, we are getting on to tip number two, and the second tip is actually just a merger of two different things. So Claude has simplified those two things into one for us, and that is called Claude Skills. So Claude Code has recently updated Claude Skills and custom commands to be merged. So now you can actually create custom instructions that you can build and you can reuse across different projects. So this is kind of like advanced versions of Claude.md, but for specific tasks. So here's how you create one. You go to Claude.ai and you start a conversation. And then you tell Claude exactly how you wanted to handle a specific task. So for example, I'll create a skill for designing user interfaces. I'll then tell Claude to always use a clean modern design with good spacing and accessibility. So once I'm happy with the instructions, then I'll save this as a skill file. Now I can add the skill to Claude code and in your project root directory, just create the folder called Claude, okay? And then inside Claude, create another folder called skills. And then your structure should look something like this. So inside the skills folder, create a markdown file with your skills instructions. So guys, if it's a bit confusing, take a look at this example. This is basically how it should look. So once you save the file, Claude code will automatically detect and use this skill in your sessions and anytime I'm working on a UI. So Claude will follow those exact instructions every single time. So skills are actually powerful because they let you teach Claude your preferences once and then it remembers those forever and it makes your job a lot easier. And now guys, we are getting on to tip number three and that is the MCP servers, okay? So MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. So it's a way to kind of give Claude access to external tools and also external data. So for example, you can actually connect Claude to your database, your API, or even any other AI models. So let me show you a quick example. So I'm gonna add the MCP server that gives Claude access to the browser. So you just simply go to integration and then you search for Anthropic Web MCP and you install it. And there you have it. Okay, that's it guys. Now, if I'm building an app that needs information from the browser, Claude can actually fetch that information directly without me having to write any extra code for it. So MCP servers actually unlock a whole new level of possibilities with Claude code. Now, didn't I tell you guys at the beginning of the video that this was gonna be cool? And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. And that is our final app with all of the upgrades. As you can see, guys, it is clean, it's functional, and it looks like it took weeks to build, and everything was actually built from scratch using Claude code. And guys, if you want to go even deeper, then what you need to do is you need to join our free school community. The link is in the description below, guys. You'll get all of the templates, the help, and the complete step-by-step -step guides that you are going to need. Guys, make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on our next video. And guys, give this video a like if you enjoyed the video. And guys, also drop a comment down below so that you can let me know what kind of an app you want me to build next. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a whole lot of fun, and I will catch you on the next one.